Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder and this is the quick video showing what's new in Minimalist Library 2.1. And when you start the project, after you install the new update, you will get the new uh, template, of course. So what you need to do is to remove the older version. We don't need it anymore. And now, from now on, you start all of your projects using this site template. You can see it, version 2.0. So let's use this template. So after you created the project, uh, let's quickly add a few sections. Something like that. And now we need to add navigation. So let's see what new sections we have to add here. So obviously navigations are on top. And as you can see, we have again, same number of sections, 14 sections, but all of these were rebuilt from scratch. And of course, the big focus of this update is on sidebar navigations. You can see I have quite a few of them. So uh, for regular navigations, these are pretty much the same, but I did rebuild them from scratch to have a little bit better optimized design. So there are a couple of of canvas mega menus. So let's start this this one, for example. So by adding it, you can see that we can go right away to preview. And by clicking on our menu, you can see that we have beautifully animated of canvas menu, fully optimized for all breakpoints. Yeah, it's working great. And to edit this menu, obviously you can see we don't have it here. We don't see it here in the sidebar in the layer tree. We have nav bar and off canvas. As you know, you just locate the off canvas and you temporarily remove the off canvas class from this row in this case you can change all of the links how you want and then you just type off canvas back to add it like that so this is one of the sections number four is similar number eight is a little bit different this is not off canvas but it is a cool new design which was not previously available so this one is simple, but still very beautiful. And we have number six and number seven are of canvas, also of canvas, but these are traditional of canvas. They are not visible again, but when we click, you can see these are the sidebars with some animated links. If you want to have the sidebar on the left, navigation number seven is your best friend. You can see it works perfectly and of course it's everything is optimized for all, all breakpoints it's beautifully done but of course the main the main uh, kind of part of this update are the six new sidebars and these are heavily inspired by the sidebar template uh, one of the most popular templates I have ever created, of course, based on the design of my own website. And these are different designs of the similar structure. So let's try, for example, navigation 12. And as you can see, this is how it looks. And by adding this sidebar, we can again see that there is a logo and toggle icon, which are not visible in the desktop actually uh, breakpoint because on desktop this time we have actually a visible sidebar and we have this sidebar here. So as you can see, I put some uh, small text here explaining what you need to do in order for this sidebar not to overlay your content. But basically what it is, you need to just add the sidebar like you did right now, go to project settings and just type sidebar menu into the body classes that's all you need to do and now you will see that the content is not going to be overlaying the sidebar like that okay. and when you resize the page you will see that when we switch to md breakpoint sidebar will just disappear 
and instead we will see this menu icon which is not visible on desktop but starting from tablet it is hidden and can be brought back using this is this menu icon and of course it works again on all devices fully optimized and super super easy to work this so again to add this type of sidebar you can add any of the six available sections here so for example let's add this one make sure that our body classes have sidebar menu added and that's it you will see that you have this a little bit different design here and it is beautifully designed again when we go to other breakpoints you will see that we will have this menu icon which will work like that so the difference is the uh, uh, navbar 7 and 6 these ones are that we don't see it by default we only see it when we click on the menu icon we can see right now there is a padding because i have added it uh, to the project settings so if you are not using these sidebars you delete this body class from there from page settings and now you can see you have the proper page this sidebar again again i think that actually now bar seven is more natural to have it on the left instead of right but as you can see it works it works beautifully whatever you choose i actually prefer the sidebar menu because it allows me to have the menu on lg always visible and when i need i can always bring it back on smaller devices like that so again very easy just a couple of clicks and one class and you can download and use this for any of your minimalist library projects make sure to use the latest site template because it includes some classes used for this sidebar but yeah that's it if you have any questions as always leave them in the comments below or get in touch at support at blocksmaster.com i will talk to you in the next video goodbye